Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new collection video and today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be talking about the top 10 Robert De Niro Blu-rays. <laughs> So yeah guys, we're going to be talking about the top 10 Robert De Niro Blu-rays um, that you can buy in the UK. Now I am talking about, this specifically always means just the UK only, um, I'm not talking about any other ones you can get from elsewhere, um, but this is going to be down to best transfer, um, amount of special features that you get on them, um, any merchandise, it's all going to roll down to the best, not only is it going to be the probably the best movies that are probably in his, in his um, you know, sort of category of best Robert De Niro movies, but then you've got like a film that got released here in the UK, uh, Awakenings, which has got, you know, it's a great movie, uh, it's a good Robert De Niro who's nominated for that movie, but then there's nothing much on the special features list, or at least there doesn't appear to be in the back of the box. So I am going to talk about if you're a Robert De Niro fan, Robert De Niro is like my second favourite actor. Uh, my first being Tom Hanks, for those that don't know me, Tom Hanks is my favourite actor. I was going to start off and do the video about Tom Hanks, but there's not a lot of releases of his movies in the UK that I can say, okay, that's, there's still a lot, I mean, there's still a lot, of, <coughs> there's a lot, uh, there's releases of his movies that I'd probably use for the video, but probably not a lot like I could use for my top 10 list, um, because there's still movies, I've got like, but this much of DVDs that still to be released in here in the UK. Uh, so I think like, I thought well I'll leave Tom Hanks for now and maybe go back at some point and maybe do a top 10 Tom Hanks at some point if they start releasing more of his uh, movies here in the UK. Um, so the first one right off the list um, is one of his, his, his first director directorial debut and uh, I can't see them releasing. Now, now, the, now, before I start, the majority of uh, these Blu-rays that I'll be talking about um, have had releases before in the UK. Um, maybe they've had the, the, the first release and then later on down the line they get their 30th anniversary or the 40th anniversary, that, that kind of thing. And the, blue, the special features are either better than the release that came before or they're just... I don't know, they're... All, they're you know, that sort of thing. So, um, I can't see there being another release of this movie, but there might be, you never know. Um, there might be a 30th anniversary or something point in the line, but uh, this is the first release here in the UK um, of this movie, and it's uh, A Bronx Tale by Robert De Niro. Now, it's not got a lot of special features. Um, it's a great movie. I love this movie. Um, that's why I put it number 10. Um, it's got a trailer, theoretical trailer, and a making of feature it. That's really all there is about this uh, Blu-ray. Um, but the reason I put it on is because it's such a good movie, um, and it's probably the, I didn't want to leave it out. Um, if there's another release in the UK, I'm sure we better we're a bit of transfer, better special features. The transfer in this movie is not bad. Um, it's it's just um, like I say, it's not got really. Um, many special features. Um, suppose at some point they'll release, you know, as they do. Um, at number nine, uh, the I, I had to say in terms of packaging, in terms of cover, this is uh, a great release. Um, it's a very diverse film, um, I would say, um, because uh, people have mixed reviews about this film, mixed opinions on it, and it's one of like I think it's kind of like I really enjoy it. Um, it's got. I can see where Martin's, it's Martin Scorsese and I can see where he's coming from. I can see why he wanted to do this movie. Um, and the special features on it are great as well. And it's the first release in the UK, uh, or the only release at the moment, of New York, New York. Now, the cover's great. Right off, the, I love the cover. I think the cover is the best, was, is the, was a really eye-catching thing for me. I had this in DVD, special edition. Uh, it was him with the saxophone, it was like a two disc. Some of the saxophone playing at the side of the street lamp, and uh, I was like, I need to to get some Blu-ray from my Martin Scorsese Robert De Niro collection. Um, it came out, I think, got released in Blu-ray 2013. So once I heard this was getting released, I jumped on it. Uh, I was uh, the cover's great. I mean, look at that, wee cartoonish 
cover. If you've ever seen the film, you'll know what I'm talking about. So it's got Liza Minnelli, Robert De Niro. Uh, special features wise, um, there's commentary, uh, director of commentary by Martin Scorsese, uh, introduction by Martin Scorsese, uh, deleted scenes, um, alternate takes, New York, New York, uh, stories, uh, part one of part two, Lon Liza, New York, New York commentaries, it's trailers and it's got loads. Um, so for a, a, to a standard release of this, or the first release of this in the UK, I was surprised because it's, um, I mean it's got a special edition on Blu-ray, oh, on DVD sorry, in the UK and I picked it up. So um, I'm really glad that this got good treatment when it got released, so that's up on number 9. Um, another one, uh, this is the first release in the UK and then when it got released I was dying to see it because I hadn't seen it at this point. I was, at the age I was going through a Martin Scorsese phase, I wanted to see more, what the two of them working together. Um, and I, this is one I'd, I'd never ever seen. And it got released here in the UK about... I'm going to see it actually. Oh, 2014. So, uh, a year after uh, New York, New York. Once I heard this was coming out, I was jumping on it as well. Um, from a Robert De Niro, Mark Scorsese collection. And that is the first release, uh, King of Comedy. Uh, this is a very like another one that's people that mixed people get mixed reviews. I like it. I think it's great. It's got a bit of mix of dark comedy in it. Um, it's with Robert De Niro. It's like I'd say it's really, really Robert De Niro's first comedy movie. Um, if you really want to consider it a comedy movie. Anyway, the transfer is great. Is great. Um, no problem with that. Uh, it's got a lot of special features. It's got a conversation. Uh, a Tri Film Fest conversation with Mark Scorsese, Robert De Niro, and Jerry, Jerry Lewis. Uh, short topic on the making of, uh, the kind of comedy, deleted scenes, extended scenes, and trailer. So there's a lot there to chew on um, with that. That's why I put it on because I was surprised when this got released um, that it had all that amount of special features on it. But a great film. I've watched it time and time again since I first saw it. And uh, it's. Probably one of my favourite Martin Scorsese lists, definitely, I have to say. Um, the next one, uh, being my uh, number seven, this was one that was because uh, I was dying for this release in the UK for years and years and years. I, I'd never seen it until I, until I basically until I, uh, I moved here and I got Netflix. Um, and it was on Netflix and I watched it there because I was like dying to see it. I was like, I, I need to see this movie. Um, it's been bugging me for years. Then, flash forward to 2015, I think it was released. I think it was released in 2015, when we finally got um, its Blu-ray release. And, uh, again, just like uh, New York, New York, the, the presentation, like the, the cover is great. Uh, I love it when they put artwork or alternate artwork on the cover and it's not just a photoshopped thing, you know what I mean? Like, it's not just a photoshopped photo. Try to make it like for a modern film. I hate that. I love it when they actually go back to like the the best thing about like some of the eighties movies and and VHS that I had um, was the artwork. I thought the artwork was great. You know, they, they really went all out. It's the same with Star Wars. The, the Star Wars posters and they're all that were all great because there was somebody there was, like physically drawing it. You know, um, and that I, I I love that. I love that when somebody I love seeing that great artwork from movies. Um, and this is Mean Streets. Uh, the first release of this in the UK. Uh, I think it also got a DVD release um, as well with this release. Uh, there was a special edition DVD years and years and years ago. Um, I missed out on it. I wasn't going through that Martin Scorsese, Robert De Niro face at the time. I was quite young. Uh, but again, it's got commentary on Martin Scorsese. It's got alternate, well, alternate sleeve artwork. Um, a wee feature, uh, feature that back on the back, uh, back on the block, um, a trailer. So it's not got a great deal, um, but it's it's still good. The transfer is great, and also it's got the alternate cover right inside there, like the original. Um, look at that right there. In case you want to turn it over and give yourself the original look. Now I love it when uh, Blu-rays do that. I think it. If they, they do a modern version of it, then they can give you the, old, the choice of whether you like that or you want to change it. Sometimes you can change it up and have it the way you want it looking for you. Especially for collectors, that's that's a, that's the, the sell point. 
that there. So you, those collectors that are watching this, you know what I'm talking about. Arrow video, you know, that's your, that's, when you want to have it sitting there, that's nice. So, um, my next one, uh, I love this movie and when it got its release, I was happy for it getting released here in the UK. The first release got released maybe, I think not far long after Blue Eyes were coming out, maybe 2011 maybe, something like that. And uh, it was, the, the quality was, the transfer was poor. Um, you could barely hear what they were saying at times and then when you turned the volume up, there'd be a loud action scene and you'd have to turn it down. Um, so that was kind of disappointing. Um, but this, I'm so happy that they really took the time and re-released it. And I think they released it for its, uh, well it's a, def a collector's de a definitive edition. And I think they really, it's got two discs, it's got tons of special features. Um, auto commentary, it could only be one thing, and it's heat. Now, if you've not bought this version of heat yet here in the UK, um, if you've got the original version and you've, you were thinking about getting it, but you're not too sure, get it. Get this version of Heat um, because you'll, you'll not be disappointed. Um, it's got great, uh, just the transfer is great. Um, I got the one with the slip sleeve I think when it got released so it's it'll be pretty much just the same release now without the slip sleeve. Um, but if you can find the one with the slip sleeve I suppose it's a bonus but it doesn't really matter. Um, but it's got great uh, transfer, special features are great, um, I really like the, you know, the sort of artwork cover better than the first release and you've got like a really cool action scene shot. This movie, I feel, when it got released in Blu-ray, when the first release in Blu-ray was poor, um, it was really, really poor um, and so I felt that it should have got its release. You know, pack that one up, guys. Great release. Heat. So, um, they released this uh, basically box set, and obviously, the other ones were single. I kind of had the other ones at the time, and I'm like, man, I want the mission. I want the mission, but they had not released the mission single. So I was waiting for the day that they released the, uh, the mission single. It seemed like it wasn't happening. I was one day I was actually sorely tempted just to buy the box set just for the for the reason because it had the mission in it. Sorely tempted just to get that box set for that film. But there was light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, the beginning of this year, I believe, that um, or the end of last year, but it was definitely the beginning of this year that it got released there. Uh, HMV started doing their premium collection and basically what that is, it's, I did a video on it, you guys can check it up and it, it will, probably a link will pop up for that. Um, and basically what that is, it's the, uh, they, they, they just took releases that have been, some of them have been released in the UK but some of them haven't and they just give it a nicer fancier cover um, and merchandise with cards and stuff like that. So this reason that this is, and this is one I was excited for its release, and that's The Mission. Robert De Niro, Jeremy Isles. Love this film. Absolutely love this film. Glad that it got its release. Um, it's got cards in it. If you haven't heard about the premium collection guys, these are, if you're a collector of Blu-rays, these ones are spine numbered. Um, you want to have these in your collection for sure. Uh, you get cards merchandise. Um, like I say, the release is the same release that was released before. Just, you know, put in a better case, but you get like the, the cards, the art cards to go with it. Um, and a cool slip, slip cover. Uh, but for any collector, it's like a, a pick up. Uh, I love this movie. And uh, I'm so glad that it finally got its released here in the UK. So, at number four. Uh, it's, uh, it's it's second release I think in the UK. Um, there was a first release and now this was its 30th anniversary back in 2010. It still holds up to the day. I love the transfer. I'm sure that 
in 2020 there'll be a 40th anniversary release this thing will be 4k transfer and stuff like that and, and I'm sure I will pick that up but uh, at this particular time this is the best one in the UK and what are we talking about it's Raging Bull love this film absolutely adore the uh, you know the, the transfer of this movie um, well for the, for the time end for 2010 it's got three commentaries director Martin Scorsese cast and crew uh, storytellers it's got uh, four new features uh, Marty and Bobby Raging Bull basically them talking about all the movies they did together to um, also Raging, talking about Raging Bull Kathy Maury on the Tonight Show uh, Johnny Carson st stuff Raging Bull Fight Night Part 4 a feature length commentary on that it's got a, a Bronx Bull a behind the scenes feature uh, De Niro vs La Mata newsreel footage it's got tons of special features I mean look at that um, when this got released in the UK I jumped on it I seen it in uh, Brayhead uh, back in 2010 I picked it up like mad I was like I want that for the collection I was really glad I picked that one up uh, number three and uh, it's a release that's just been released in the UK it got released um, recently and that is uh, Ronan an Arrow release now this is its second release in the UK there was a release a standard release I'll show you a standard release That's it. Special features, high definition trailers. What's with that? A great, great film, like Ronan. If you've not checked out Ronan, guys, it's a great movie. It's got. It's actually voted one of the most uh, best car chases uh, in film history. Um, I mean, look at that. Arrow never disappoints uh, for me. Arrow's one of my favourite companies. Uh, in the UK, uh, the amount of special features you can pause that there, guys, if you want. Doesn't seem to disappoint. Uh, booklet. It's got a booklet and obviously the reversible cover again. Um, booklet's so great. I mean, I like the artwork in the book even. Uh, absolutely great film, and it's in 4K uh, transfer, which is really really cool. Um, Still to check out the special features and stuff like that, so I can't sit here and comment, but I mean, look at what you're getting. You, know, you can't go wrong with that, so I definitely included it in my collection. At, oh, nearly fell. Uh, at number two, it could only be one thing. Uh, so you've probably now to do any further collectors, what, what, what ones are going to be. Um, last year saw the 40th anniversary of this release. It's second release on Blu-ray here in the UK. And uh, it's two disc, um, I believe. But uh, the artwork, the cover's great. The artwork right off the back is amazing. Um, I'm glad they went back to the old poster. Uh, it's uh, basically two discs. So um, uh, on the second disc, it's got some more special features. Uh, some of the new special features uh, for the 45th anniversary is on the first disc. So basically, what they did was just move. The ones that they couldn't fit onto this disc have moved on to the second disc, which is great. I hate buying an edition of a movie. Um, Gone with the Wind was it the 75th anniversary edition. I've got the, uh, I think it's the 70th anniversary edition of Gone with the Wind. The amount of special features were amazing on that film. On that, like, from the second, it was a two disc, the amount of special features were amazing. The Gone with the Wind second release, they did the 75th anniversary. Maybe it was great. They had new special features, but what happened to all the old special features? I hate when you get when you when you buy a a release and yet the special features you had in the first release was better than its new release. Instead of just keeping all the same release, all the special features that you had, and if you want to add more, that's great. You know, this is one of them. So if you're just in case you feel that oh, I've got this the thirty fifth anniversary of this, but I don't know if I want to jump on it, guys. Taxi Driver, 
one of my all-time favourite Robert De Niro films. Uh, and Max Scorsese, sure amazing film. It's got the original cover, and uh, I'll show you what's got inside. I mean, look at that for special features. I mean, if that isn't just, I don't know if you can see it there. You can pause it if you want. Um, sort of the wee, uh, wee, wee leaflet thing there, you know, the wee, sort of the wee leaflet. Um, two discs. So. Great release guys, hop on it right now while it's, while it's still available. Um, last but not least, could only be one thing, a film I've not mentioned, it's probably one of his best. This transfer is released again, I think it's released in 4K. Um, it's also got tons of special features, I think it's a 2 disc as well. Um, it's got a booklet in it, yes it is a 2 disc. It's got a booklet in it, new documentaries in it. I've got to say the 4K scan in this movie was a lot better than the first release. Um, although I did like the first release cover because it's the original cover. Um, uh, it's, it's, the cover's not too bad in this but the transfer is better. And that is good fellas. At number one guys, it's good fellas. The uh, uh, I, think it, I think it actually was the 20th anniversary release. Um, I'm not too sure. I think it was the 20th anniversary release. Or the 25th. Anniversary release, I'm sure. I'm sure it was something like that, but it doesn't say um, what kind of release it was. Um, it's got a booklet. It's even got a wee kind of sort of kind of Martin Scorsese newsletter thing. It's like, I mean, look at that. I'd have to say much. See, I see it. But uh, it's been out for a couple of years, guys. I got it in 2015, I think. Yeah, 2015. So it got released in 2015. You can still pick this up today. I would hop on it now before they stop making these uh, this release. Um, I think you can get now Ultra 4K release of Goodfellas. I'm sure you can. But uh, anyway, guys, that is it for my. I've rambled on enough. That is it for my Robert De Niro, uh, the top ten Robert De Niro Blu-rays here in the UK. Just in case you're a collector or you're thinking of collecting, you like Robert De Niro movies, but you're not too sure, because they, they do, they bring out all these different versions. Um, you can get the Goodfellas, the standard Goodfellas, and the, like the three for, the, the five for 30. Um, and just in case you're buying them, and you see all those Goodfellas. But, it is one of your great, one of your favourite films or whatever, but you just want to see a better version, or like a better scan of the version, or better special features, or anything like that, that's the one to go for. This is basically why I did this video guys, to say, well, I'm, I'm a bit torn between, I don't know, this release or that release, and I'm not too sure. The releases I showed you here, guys, are the, the best ones at the moment, at this present time, are the ones in the UK. So anyway, guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And uh, let me know in the comments below, would you like to see me do another one? Talk about another, some more Blu-rays, figures whatever it is you guys want me to talk about. So anyway guys, thanks very much for watching. Until next time guys, take care and bye bye.